Is it recording? Yeah, it's recording. Hey, YouTube Gundam here. Welcome back to World of Tanks. It's been a while. Uh, I installed the next version of the uh, Anfield's mod pack, and he has a three carousel. I like the two because I could actually see the tanks and see double carousel. This, this is too much. You know, and I don't know how to change it. So. But, I got a new tank. This, as you can see, is the VK4502A. If you know me, you know I've had this thing for a while. This is not the VK4502A. This is the VK4502B. My second tier 9 tank. My very second tier 9 tank. Obviously, the very first one would be the Yag Tiger because I have this thing. <laughs> Look at the size of that gun. Yeah, I had to get the Yag Tiger to get the Yag Panzer E100. But, hey, now I got the VK4502A. Sweet. Uh, if you're wondering about other tier 9s, well, let's see here. T32, American. Mm, 130,000 experience to go. Yeah, that's kind of on the short end. Uh, how about the Tiger 2? hundred and eight thousand well roughly a hundred and nine because it's hundred eight thousand seven hundred fifty two so yeah so hmm how about tank destroyers um I still don't have the next gun I still need fifty three thousand for the gun and then a hundred sixty three thousand five hundred for the Waffentrager Alf Panzer IV well that's for German tank destroyers what about others well let's see here I still got my eyes three. Uh, I don't have everything unlocked, but uh, that radio, well, uh, maybe that's 8,700. Without the radio, it's 107,692. So basically 108,000. Toss in another 8,000. That's 116,000 roughly. Well, 116 and a half. I'm not going to get that 100 mil gun. So. Yeah, so far, the Tiger's winning. What about my Geschutzwagen Tiger P? Whistling needs 85,000. Well, it actually needs less than 85,000, which is good. What about, um, this thing? Mr. BL-10. That's such a big gun. Well, let's find out. Twenty nine thousand. <laughs> so I'm at twenty nine thousand with my ISU one five two going to the object seven oh four. I'm at eighty five thousand with my Geschutzfog and Tiger P, and the others are all above a hundred thousand to go, or close to it. Well, yeah, I know, they're above it. Yeah, to get the E-75, I need 108, or 9. The IS-3, if I get the radio, 116. Without the radio, 108. T-32, way more. Rheinmetall Borsig, way more. Because I still gotta get the gun. <coughs> There's my egg tire. I wanna buy back my Ferdinand. So, yeah. Ooh, that's a big gun. Of course, if I want a big gun, I'll go to my Geschutzwagen or my Jagdpanzer. No, these two have my two biggest guns. This, because it's huge and does a lot of damage, 170 millimeters compared to 210 on this thing. But this is artillery. So, yeah. <laughs> AP rounds. Yeah, 227 to 379 penetration. And I, because of this, I also can't, uh, select that gun. I can go over here. Which is stupid, I know. But. So, uh, basically, 303 millimeters of penetration with 1,500 average damage. Well, 1,550. That can one-shot a Tier 8. If it gets a higher damage roll, it can one-shot German Tier 8s. You know, because, like, the Tiger II here has 1,600, not 1,550. Uh, the KV-5 is the healthiest at Tier 8. Uh, where's mine? Here it is. 
1780. Yeah. 1780 for the health of this thing. If that thing gets a high enough damage roll, it can one-shot this. The problem is accuracy. It's our high tier artillery. That thing can't hit the broad side of a barn. So, as you can see, I've got no ammo loaded. I have j literally just bought this thing. <coughs> 107 millimeters of frontal hull armor, 100 side and rear, which is good. <coughs> but this is a rear turret. It's meant to side scream. Now, 220 millimeters at the front of the stock turret. That's not bad. 150 at the side. And look at the sloping. If you're pointing right at someone, well, if they hit the top, it's well sloped. They hit the sides, well sloped. The front, not well sloped, although it you know, depends on where you hit. You hit flat here in the middle, yeah. Down below, nah. here, it's, it's, it's an auto bounce zone. It's like an American uh, gun mount. Of course, then again, um, I can get upgrades. Well, some upgrades. I cannot get the big 128 mil. I can get a 105. Weight might be an issue. This gun weighs 3,600. This gun, 2,500. <clears throat> I need 21,000 experience for that if I use my free. Um, yeah, 72, 75. Okay, you know what? I can get the gun. But I don't know about the turret being able to hold it. We'll find out. It can. The <laughs> I got the big hunter five until I get this. Now, this gun is available on the mouse VK five hundred two B, Alpha B. Well, that's what this is. The E one hundred and E seventy five. So four tanks: E one hundred, E seventy five, mouse, and this thing. But to get to the mouse, I need the turret. And that gun. Okay. Uh, engine weight. 670 compared to 720. You know what? That's not much at all. Yep. Radios don't weigh very much. I mean, if it is for a smaller tank. But, yeah, there you go. I've got... I still... I need to get the tracks next because, uh... Well, I'll take a look. Weight. Oh, hey, it's actually in red. 18520. 13,500. It weighs 5,000 pounds, uh, 5,000 more. And I only have about one and a half, uh, actually closer to two, but yeah, it's less than 2,000 available. Well, I have two tons, that thing, you know, because I can't remember this isn't tons and that's not. Uh, that, uh, um, it's actually not much. Hmm. I think if I took off the gun... Yeah, let me try mounting this. Uh, da, 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 here it is. Nope! I just noticed something as well. You can right-click here and click Sell from Depot. Which is awesome. I think there's 56,000 back in the bank. There's a few more. Anyone who knows me will know that I want to obtain every single German tank. And keep them all at the same time. So, yeah. Now, this 105mm gun. The Tiger II has this gun. The E75 also has this gun. And all my nose goes crazy. So, this is the gun on the Tiger II. This gun. And that gun's alright. I mean, some people like the uh, others because rate of fire and DPM over penetration. But that's not bad at tier 8. Because if you look at the gun, you know, it says, uh, well, let's see, I'll repeat. Yeah. Not bad. But this is a tier 9. You know, you want to look at those guns, those other guns, that is, at tier 8. That's okay. But this is tier 9. You know, this gun, 225 pen, 320 damage. It's not a lot for a tier 9. But the 88, 203 pen, 240 damage. 
Now, DPM might not be bad, but with only 203 penetration, this has 200 penetration. This is 225. You know, I have a feeling I'm going to be loading a handful of APCR and using them. You know, it's not a great gun at tier 9, because you can see tier 10. But this thing, 246. You know, that's the thing. 225 compared to 246, it's a bit of an upgrade. Not much, but 320 to 490. However, there's another difference. This, now I have 70%, 75% crew and no gun rammer. 5.83 rounds per minute, 3.82. So, two rounds a minute more. Ah. Also, accuracy 0.38 and 2.9 aiming time for that. 0.34 and 2.3. So it's not as accurate. It's a 0.38 compared to 0.34. So the 105 is more accurate. 2.3 compared to 2.9 aiming time. So the name is fast. Yeah, you sacrifice a bit with that 128, but you can side scrape better because you don't want to keep popping out and shooting people if you're side scraping because they're gonna hit your weak spots. So, the 128 won't be bad, and besides, I can use it on the E75 as well. So, yeah. Uh, I got my next tier 9 thing. And yeah, I'm not too far away from the Object 704, except for credits-wise, because I'm down to 1.6 mil. Uh, but I gotta buy some more stuff for this thing, so I'll be down to, like, 1.5. So, yeah. But I got another tire nine. Tire? I got a tier nine. So, yeah. Um yeah, that's all I wanna say. Also, um somebody has asked me if I'm dead. I'm not dead. I was you know, it, it's hard when you have a third shift job at Walmart. Yeah. Um I'm getting closer to the mouse. And hey. I need to play with this thing. You know. The ISU with a BL10. Because, hey, 30,000, but I haven't done the daily double on this thing yet. So, yeah, I will. See ya.